Hello, I'm Sean, independent occupational therapist. I have many years experience working in the community. And one thing we get referred time and time again is regarding bed transfers, whether that be for independence for the client or whether that be for reducing and moving and handling risk for the carers. Now, there's many, many rotating beds out there. Um, I've, I've seen, seen them all. Um, but what I'm going to show you now is the Orbit 235 rotating bed from Theraposture. Now it's been developed over many years to get where it is today and I'm going to go through some of the features why it really does make it the next level I'm in rotating beds and why from an OT point of view it's something that's uh, recommended for many many different users uh, for various different conditions. Now as we know that not everybody is the same height, weight, shape, makeup. So what we can do with this bed is uh, it's the same framework but we can just adjust the length of it so we put a different mattress on there um, for different users we can also uh, make the height of the bed as well um, independent for, for different users um, so it's set so we make sure that they are sat in the correct position and they're not feet are not basically on the floor when they do that transfer um, so it's got the seat depth adjustment on there as well so again for the depending on someone's height and their leg length we can adjust the seat height what one feature this does have is a tilting space function on this bed because we want to make sure that that client is not going to be anxious when they're doing that transfer and they're not going to slide forward so this has got a tilting space function the only rotating bed and um, basically to have that as it rotates round, this one has been set up it can be programmable in various different ways. One from a backrest point of view we can program it, so depending on uh, if someone's got any uh, limited range of movement, depending whether that be um, in hips, leg function, whatever, so we can program that backrest um, so we know that they're going to be in a comfortable um, position. But when it rotates round, it can either be set here at 60 degrees or we can do it at 90 degrees. Now the reason for the 60 degree is for a wheelchair transfer, so we need to make sure that there's enough room um, at the side of the bed to be able to do that transfer. It comes around at 90 degrees. Environmentally, various different reasons that may not be possible. So that's what has been set and can be programmed and changed for, again for each individual user to come around um, at 60 degrees. Now another real um, you know, issue that we always come up against is cost. It's something from a uh, you know, practice and OT, a justification, um, is something that we have to um, come up with all the time that we know that we're making that clinical reasoning and justification for this specific piece of equipment for a client. Now with one um, initial uh, outlay of a bed, as I say, I've already gone across the reasons why you can use it for different users, so that's a very good cost saving in not buying multiple products. Um, and from a carer point of view, if we can reduce that care um, from uh, maybe two carers down to one carer or eliminate some of those care costs, that really does mount up. And these products can pay for themselves in a very short period of time with those care calls that are then not required for that cost saving. Um, and again, from a reissue point of view, as I've said, it's one bed. It's not multiple beds for different users. It's um, very reissuable, just a different mattress may be on there, but it's all programmable. Um, so from a rotating uh, bed point of view, for many, many users, the Orbit 235 from Theraposture really is the next level in rotating beds. Thank you.